Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, we are doing a, another try-on video today, but this is like a little bit different because this is going to be just all jeans, all Levi's jeans, and I'm super excited. I've never tried Levi's jeans on before, and this is like not sponsored. I ordered all of these myself, but I've always wanted to try Levi's jeans just because I've heard such good things about them and the quality, and they have so many like cute styles that I feel like, like all, you know, the bloggers and Instagrammers are wearing right now, and I really wanted to give them a try, and they had a really good sale going on. So I ordered literally like nine or ten pairs like I ordered a lot of pairs of jeans and in this video I'm trying them on there's like a ton of different styles and fits and like a huge variety and Sharing with you guys like what I like about them what I don't like about them some like sizing information Which I wanted to touch on for a second so just kind of like for reference I'm fairly tall I'm like five nine and a half and about like 150 pounds So I'm typically like either a four or a six which is a 27 or like 28 in jeans But I had heard that Levi's can run a little bit small especially because a lot of the denim is like a really true premium denim so it's just like straight cotton there's like almost no stretch to it some of them do have stretch and so it was a little bit confusing trying to decide what size I should order since I had never tried them on in person before you'll see throughout this video like I'm so confused by how their different styles fit because like I said I'm typically like a 28 or a 27 and in a lot of these I ordered a 29 and in some of them the 29 is perfect and some of them the 29 is huge and some of them the 28 is perfect the 28 is huge like it's all over the place and you'll even see like some of the exact same styles but just in like different colors fit totally differently like I'm so like utterly confused with how Levi's does their sizing you guys will see all of that in the video it's very confusing if you guys like work at Levi's or like know more about them then watch the video and then please like help me understand what I did wrong but there are a lot of really good pairs of jeans in here there's just some that not that there was anything wrong with them, but the sizing was just all over the place. So definitely stay tuned because it's kind of interesting. I think this will help you understand like if you're looking to purchase, which of course they will all be linked down below. If you are looking looking to purchase any, I feel like this video will help you figure out like what size you should buy and stuff like that. So, so if you guys want to see me try on all these jeans and make my way mentally through all the different <laughs> confusing components of them, then just keep watching. All right, y'all. This is no joke. <laughs> this is like how many pairs of jeans I bought plus I'm wearing a pair so there's just there's a lot of jeans for me to show you guys <laughs> okay so this uh, first pair that I have on is the 720 high rise super skinnies these are the Levi sculpt so this is what these look like they're like this like really nice like medium wash which a bunch of distressing these are actually in the long length so these are a uh, one size up from my normal size so these are a size 8 or 29 and they're 32 inch like length so these are actually like a little tiny bit too long but I typically like roll my jeans anyway at the bottoms so that's typically not a problem for me because I can just roll them up and then it's actually nice because then when I cuff them I still have enough length but these are just like too freaking big so as you can see like they actually have quite a bit of like stretch to them and like they fit okay but they're just like <sighs> I like my jeans to be like fairly tight and these are just like a tiny bit too loose I do kind of feel like the size 6 or the 28 definitely would have fit me a lot better especially because they're so stretchy so like in theory they might stretch out as I wear them but like because they're so stretchy they're actually a very very comfortable material like I literally don't feel like I'm wearing jeans right now at all I really like like how these feel they're super high-waisted like as you can see like they go just about to my belly button this is how they look from behind I feel like I like this little distressing on this pocket I love this color I actually am not crazy about the distressing on these either I'm not really a big fan of like just big like chunky patches of holes like this like I'd rather kind of like one big hole with like you know some stuff like hanging off so yeah I think these are probably gonna go back I really like the color and I like this material but I'm not crazy about the distressing and I do kind of wish it was like one size smaller I think that I do like this style of jeans I just think that this um, amount of distressing and the sizing kind of threw me off okay so this next pair is the Levi's 501 premium skinny so they're not like the super skinny as you can kind of tell they like kind of like are tight through the thigh and then like just kind of straight and I kind of have like have mixed 
thoughts on this. So these are like the premium brands. So these, these are like, you know, they're nice, like really true, nice, thick denim. And they really are like, these feel incredible. Like I think you can even just tell by looking at them. Like these are just a really, really nice true denim. Like I love the wash on them. It's got like a little bit of distressing on the pockets here and over here. Like they kind of just look lived in. And this is the kind of like leg distressing that I prefer. Like a little bit of like bigger ripping. Like I almost kind of wish either this part wasn't ripped or it was just one rip because like I said I'm not crazy about like chunks of ripping and I like how this side has a little bit less so I like the distressing on these a lot better the fit of them is a little bit weird like when I was putting them on they got stuck like on my like knee area I think because like I don't know my thighs are like they're not big or anything but like they're a little bit more muscular so I feel like this portion that's like a little bit tighter on the calf like got a little bit stuck in like this calf slash thigh area so it was like I literally had to like yank on this to like get these to not be like bunched up all my ankle up here the this is see, this is my problem like this is why I'm so confused about what size I am in Levi's because these are the same size as the other pair these are a 29 inch 32 length so again they're in the long length but like as you can see I mean they definitely bunch up like a tiny bit but like they're not crazy long and again I kind of like that look I feel like with like flip-flops that's cute or again I can cut them and still have plenty of room but this is my problem with the waist so like they fit like well and like I said they are like a true denim so like there's like no stretch or like give at all but I don't know if y'all will be able to tell I think you can kind of tell I'm like zooming in but do you see the gapping right there like between the back of these jeans and my back like there's just like this weird gap that I just don't really like, but like obviously they fit me everywhere else. Excuse the tag, I just have it tucked in. Like they fit me fine everywhere else, but I just hate how there's like that weird gap in the back. Like if this was just like, I don't know, half an inch taken in, like it just wouldn't have that gap. But like they fit me in the back just fine. Like I think they look good on my butt. I don't know, I almost feel like these kind of like almost have like a boyfriend e style fit. They just kind of look like a dude's jean in a way. I feel like just like the way that they're like structured in the wash and stuff. But I really like how they feel. And you know, these are their higher end jeans. These are like, you know, $98. So these are like nice jeans. And I feel like I really like how they look and I feel like they would last a really long time. I do think I like these. And I kind of like the like baggier, like more casual fit like down at the bottom of them so I just cuffed these a little bit just at the bottom just to kind of give you all an idea of like what that would look like and last thing about these I wanted to mention these are a button fly and they have like five buttons like the button fly goes all the way down like down to here it's like a little bit of like a strangely long fly I feel like it like lays nicely so I think I'm down with it Okay, so these are the pair that like started it all. <laughs> these are like basically like those busted knee kind of style jeans. These are I feel like Levi's like most like talked about and worn jeans this season. I feel like every like blogger and Instagrammer has these jeans. These are the 721 high rise skinny. Again, these are that like premium material where these are like the $98 jeans that are really, really nice like quality, really, really good denim, but they're true denim. So they don't have any, any stretch to them or any give at all. So I reordered them when they went back in stock in a 20 and these fit pretty much perfectly as you might notice and compared to honestly every pair of jeans I'm gonna show you these are actually the lowest rise even though these are considered a high rise they like stop like significantly under my belly button whereas all the rest of them are either right at my belly button or even higher so these are like an inch or two um, lower rise I would honestly consider this like a mid rise so I kind of do wish that these were a little bit more of a high rise but I do really like the you know distressing in the knees this is again because this is the same kind of true denim like the last pair like they do get a little bit like kind of hard to like wiggle up around my calves and my thighs like just right in this area so I don't know if I'm just like a little bit I'm not even that muscular I'm not exactly sure I guess just because it has like no give these are also a perfect length for me I'm pretty sure these are the regular length so these are the 30 I feel like this pair fits me really really perfectly I really like how they fit in the back like I feel like they just they do nice things for the booty, I really love the wash of these. Like, they're just a really nice kind of, like, slightly medium dark wash. So, these actually fit me really, really, really nicely. I really like these ones a lot. Again, the only thing I wish is that they were, like, a little bit higher rise. Like, if they would go up to here, I feel like I would like that so much better. Okay, so here's something that I, like, wanted to point out because I'm super confused. So, this is the first pair that I got in these, like, busted knee ones. These were the size 28. And then this is the second pair that I ordered that's a size 29. But, like, I'm just confused because they're supposed to be the exact 
exact same jean and I bought them from the exact same like listing but the tags on them are different like this is Levi's sculpt and it has like this kind of tag this one has this tag and like it doesn't say sculpt anywhere on it and then if you like flip them over I'm also confused because they, they both say 721 high-rise skinny but like this is a different tag and like this is like the brown like patch and this one is red and so like I'm just confused yeah see this one says low stretch this one says sculpt like I feel like they even kind of look a little bit different like I feel like the distressing is a little bit different and even the coloring I feel like is not like exactly the same so I'm confused like if I got two different types of jeans or what? Like, don't these like little red Levi's labels even just look like super different? Let me know what y'all think. This is confusing me. Okay, so this next pair I'm just kind of dumb about. I I just mess these up. So this is the 715 boot cut in the Levi's sculpt. So this is what these look like, and as you can very obviously tell, these are way too short on me. I apparently bought the 8 short, which I'm not exactly sure how I did that. So I think these are like a 28 length or something like that. So yeah, they're obviously like dumb short. And they consider these ones a mid-rise, which I would not consider these a mid-rise at all. Like these are a low rise. Like you can see where my belly button is. I mean, like the material is really comfortable. I would say these these definitely have like a bit of stretch to them for sure and I like how they like fit like I feel like they look I really just do think Levi's like look really good in the butt area I've like heard that and I think it's really true and I like the wash of them I just bought these for work I wear like boot cut jeans to work I would love to like wear these to work but I just <laughs> I do wish that they were a little bit longer, so I might just see if I can exchange these for um, a, like a different length. I do really wish that they were higher waisted, but for work, I mean, I'm not really like looking all that stylish for work, so I'm not really worried about the high waistedness. So I don't know. These are definitely like either need to be returned or exchanged if I can get a different length because these just look stupid. <laughs> also, I did get these in a 29, and again, I definitely wish I had gotten a little bit of a smaller size just because like these are pretty stretchy, so like they just they feel big they feel like they're gonna like stretch out and then you know like I'm gonna have to pull them up constantly so again I feel like I definitely could have gone with my normal size all right so we're making some progress because I think we're kind of starting to like figure this all out well maybe a little bit not though because this is confusing because these again are the 721 high-rise skinnies in the Levi's sculpt so these are the same style as the busted knee ones and the thing that's confusing about those is since they're both 721 high-rise skinnies like they're from the same listing they're just like a different wash so these are identical to the other ones but these have like stretch to them like these are not like a super super true denim like those I feel like I'm literally like I have to go to school to like understand how Levi's does their styling and their sizing because I'm like getting very confused by all of it and the other confusing thing is that these are way higher waisted so these are again are the same as the busted knee ones which like like stopped like mid-rise like they stopped like here these go again all the way up to my belly button much higher waisted much 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 more stretchy and as you can tell these are just like a very nice and simple pair of jeans like no distressing I really like this wash like it's just a really nice like medium wash I feel like this kind of color is like perfect for like any time of year like spring summer winter because it's just such a classic wash pretty simple in the back like nothing too interesting but again I feel like they just like make your butt look nice I don't know, it might just be me. <laughs> so these are a 2932. So again, they're one size up from what I would normally wear and they are technically the long length, but as you can see, they're not crazy long. I mean, they're definitely like, you know, a little bit bunched up down here, but again, that's like perfect. For me, I don't mind if they're a little long because then I can cuff them and they're still like a perfect like wearable length for me. So I think the length is totally fine. And in these, the 29, again, like fits pretty well. These are a little bit more stretchy. So I think you, like I could probably get away maybe with a 28, but I think the 29 are a little bit more comfortable. Again, like there's a tiny, tiny bit of gapping in the back, but like nothing crazy like the other ones. So in these ones, I would say you could probably get away with your normal size but you might want to size up just to be a little bit more comfortable. I definitely think I'm going to keep these ones because I think they're just like kind of classic. So up next we have the wedgie fit which I've been wanting to try a pair of these wedgie fit ones for so long because I feel like I see them on people and they look so cute. So these are basically they're actually very high rise so as you can see like they go all the way up to my belly button which I love and these are like a very simple pair they're just a light wash which I actually don't have like any light wash jeans believe it or not so I feel like I kind of need um, a color like this into my collection. So they're like a little bit tight-ish throughout the like thigh and stuff but still as you can see like I feel like they kind of have like a mom jean fit like that's kind of the vibe that 
I get from them because they kind of like taper off and they're like kind of an ankle length and as you can see like they're just a little bit loose kind of all throughout. They call them a wedgie fit I guess because like probably as you can tell they kind of like Get, like go really up your butt crack in a way that I think is actually like flattering like I think these kind of like more loose fit jeans can sometimes be a little bit like unflattering in the butt area but I feel like these like they look they still make your booty look good. I do really like these. However, again, I got a 29 because I thought I needed to size up. And these are definitely too big. Like, they're just really... These definitely have some stretch to them. Not a ton, but, like, some. So, I think I'd be fine in a 28 just because they are just, like, a little bit too roomy. And, like, again, I don't know. Yeah, you can tell right there. Like, do you see all that gapping? Yeah, I feel like you can tell there. Like, there's definitely, like, quite a bit of gapping there. But they're not, like, uncomfortably, like, too big. I just feel like I wish they were just a little bit tighter. Just because, like, I feel like I would need a belt with these. Also, these do have the button fly, but there's only four of them. But I do really like these. I feel like these are a nice, like, a casual jean. Like, kind of, like, with something like this. Like, a hoodie or, like, to wear to the beach. I do really, really love this style a lot. So, speaking of the wedgie fit, like I was saying, I really liked those. And I ordered two different washes in the wedgie fit. And I actually, see, this is, again, you know, I keep saying this, but this is so confusing because this is the exact same style as the last pair where I definitely, definitely, definitely need to size down one size back to my regular size 28. These are the same style from the same listing, different wash. These are 29 and these fit me perfectly. Like not 100% perfectly, like there's a tiny, like I feel like I could go like half an inch smaller, but like for all intents and purposes, they're just fine. So I don't understand, but I really like the wash of these. These are kind of like a little bit, like they have these like, I don't know, kind of what do you call this? Detailing on the thighs. They're kind of like this light medium wash. Obviously not as light as those other ones, but they're not like as dark as a medium wash. And I just really like the way these fit. I like the way these fit even better than those ones, which is why I would really like those in a one size smaller. Because these just fit a little bit nicer. Like they're definitely tighter up here on the waist. Again, these do have the button fly, the four buttons down here. There's just like not as much gapping. There's just like a lot less just like material in the thigh area. I even just like feel like kind of in the butt area like it's a little less like extra material in this region here. But again, I do still kind of feel like these have like that mom jean vibe where they're just like a little bit looser, like a little bit more kind of like relaxed to fit. These again, like don't have a ton of give, but they're not as restrictive as some of the other pairs. Like they're kind of in the middle. I really, really like these. These are like probably one of my favorite pairs. Okay guys, we're on to our last pair. These are obviously a much darker wash. These are the 721 High Rise Skinny Levi Sculpt. So obviously these are the only pair I got that are actually like a fairly <laughs> dark wash wash, which I kind of did that intentionally. I kind of have kind of a lot of dark wash jeans, so I, I didn't really need that many new pairs. These, though, are, like, a little bit different. So, again, these are the same exact, like, style as the busted knee ones and then those, like, not distressed ones that I tried on. But, again, like, these kind of feel totally different. They, again, are, like, very, very high rise. Like, as you can see, they're all the way up to my belly button. So, similar to the not distressed ones, but way higher rise than the busted knee ones. These have just the one little rip in the knee, but they also feel like a slightly different like type of denim like they're really 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 like smooth and soft and they're actually like pretty stretchy but again I got these in a 29 which in a lot of these the 29 is too big these are perfect for me in the 29 I probably could have done a 28 though because like there's a tiny bit of a little bit of gapping back here and they are stretchy so I think if you did get your regular size you might be fine but these are definitely comfortable enough and they're just like a very like a very comfortable material I did get these in the length 30 so again these are not the long or the short these are the regular length and again they're kind of just right they hit me right at the ankle so I think like generally speaking I would probably just stick to a long for me I'm just not sure if I'm crazy about this style like, I don't know how I feel about just like the one knee being busted I mean I like it but I just I don't know if it's like something that I necessarily need in my collection here is what the back of them look like so really really simple I think they're just like kind of nice and you know a little bit different than all the other ones I got and they really are comfortable so I do like these as well. So that is going to be everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please, like I said earlier, let me know if you can like help me understand what was so confusing about this and why it was so confusing and if you've ever had like an experience like this with Levi's jeans because now I feel like I don't even know where to begin like if I were to order again. It's like you need to go to school to understand. <laughs> how to like shop on Levi's. I hope this was helpful in some way and definitely check out the description box. I'll put links for everything. Hopefully this like helped you figure out sizing or like what you might be looking for because I kind of wish that I had had all this information before I went on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like subscribe, we would love to have you. We have so much fun here and until next time, I will see y'all in our next video.
Bye guys.